Now that we have the suspension, the front axle kind of all done, um, it's time to look at the brakes. So, I'll take a look here, open them and see what we need to do to get them on. Brake line and everything. That is a serious rotor. So I'm missing that screw there. Um, it's essentially put the rotor on. I need that screw. That screw obviously doesn't kind of hold it together. It's held together with the lug bolts there. Um, the other thing is so I've got kind of this adapter bracket and these bolts go to the caliper, but I need the bolts that go to here. So I'm going to have to research and get some on order. This is the pedal assembly from uh, Honda Accord. And you can see it's got a little, uh, yeah, right there, 96 cord. You can see it's got some surface rust. Um, in general, it's not too bad. But I think uh, like we did before, um, we'll probably try and get the rust off and then uh, paint it just to seal it up. And I believe, so, the version I'm using, I need a Hall, Hall FX um, gas pedal for the Tesla. So um, this has just got two welds, it's welded on. So I'll um, probably drill through those to uh, separate the brake pedal from the others. And I made this assemble a little bit just to clean it up, or maybe I don't, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So. And I might look to see if there's kind of some aftermarket pedal just because, again, like a 20, 25 year old pedal. I want something that looks, looks good, matches the performance. So, I'll keep you posted. I was able to get it off um, eventually, just it was torqued on pretty tight. Um, so took it off, cleaned it up, and now I'm gonna see if I can drill through those or if I need to get kind of a weld removal tool. So I've got a, a drill press and a bit, so I'll just see if that works. If not, we'll wait for the uh, other one to arrive. So it looks like it got it got it through. We'll see if it's separated. And I'll try again on, on this weld on this side. Alright, so I got it uh, separated. 
it's uh, not too bad. So once I got the holes drilled, I just kind of put a screwdriver in between it and just kind of tapped it and it popped off. So looks pretty good. We'll get it cleaned up, uh, get all the rust off and put a coat of paint on it. All right, here it is all cleaned up. Um, you can see it looks really quite clean. Um, so yeah, we'll give it a coat of paint and call it good. Well, there we have it. All finished, rust free, and painted. We'll get it mounted up and uh, Call it good. Time to reassemble. So we're gonna put this one back on and the bolts and just tighten everything down along with the uh, switch here. And maybe I'll even throw some, some wires on here. Get everything all ready. Okay, all back together again. So I'll mount it, like I said, maybe wire it up, and that'll be it. Okay, so putting the wires on, um, just soldered one on to this connector here, and um, did, did some heat shrink around it. I'm just going to do the second one here and let's watch how it goes. I've got this uh, sleeve here for all the tubing I've been doing. And the thing that's nice is it opens up, can open up from the side. So. What I do is I just open it up and, and so I'll put the ends in and I can kind of just work the wires down. Like so. 
I'll go ahead and plug these into the connector and uh, tape it all up and have it look good. There you have it all wired up. Ready to be installed. So I see a potential problem. It's not even a potential problem, it's a problem. Um, so there's the brake booster and the pedal and right there you've got the steering rack coming out and so when you push on the brake it hits the steering rack and not only that you're gonna have to have like a coupling here and other things so um, I am doing things uh, a little ahead of schedule because I don't have the manuals, so maybe they are asking me to somehow modify something. But uh, yeah, problem. Here it is assembled. Right now it's just kind of test fit. Gotta tighten up some bolts, but there it is. So that does it for this episode. Um, got the brakes uh, all mounted. Still have to run the brake lines, um, get it to the brake booster. But uh, yeah, so pretty happy with the progress and hope you guys enjoyed the episode and please like and subscribe.